exporting more than 60% of our product and we need to be efficient and we need to compete with uh, big companies uh, very well known in the world. In a paper production, every hour costs quite a huge amount of money and uh, we would like to avoid as much as possible breakdowns, downtimes, or at least to make it planned. In many industries, recurring machine problems are still considered a necessary evil, an unwanted but inevitable cost of production. For Lithuanian tissue and wood processing company Grigishkis, this used to be the case, until a few years ago when they started to explore a different approach. We discussed with uh, many companies how they can support us, and after this long discussion we select SKF. SKF is uh, a leading company in the world on maintenance, they know how to maintain machines and they know the best practice in the world. In 2007 we got the, uh, the request to do a client needs analysis on site and uh, the outcome of that analysis was actually uh, that it, it showed that there was a, a big potential for improvement in all areas of the asset efficiency optimization model. The SKF Asset Efficiency Optimization, or AEO model, underpins all SKF asset management projects. It provides a roadmap for how to marry knowledge with technology in such a way that the maximum equipment efficiency is achieved, based on a company's unique wants and needs, and with the assumption that improvement opportunities are almost endless. In 2010, we came to concrete steps in the process. Uh, from which this contract was uh, actually derived. Together with Grigishkis, SKF drew up a strategy for about 1,000 assets, and improvement areas were identified by data collection, analysis and review meetings. Planning and scheduling is now being carried out using the computerized maintenance management system, CMMS, to optimize the work, which is being executed through training and supervision. A key component is the Proactive Reliability Maintenance Process, or PRM, going beyond the prediction of breakdowns to reducing the recurrence, including recommendations for actions such as precision alignment, precision balancing, and redesign of critical components. But one of the biggest challenges so far in the project has been the cultural change. The mill uh, was totally reactive. They did not act until something broke down. And so the challenge is to move to people from thinking in that way to think in another way, in a corrective way, in a proactive way, actually. We've seen some very interesting changes here and there. People that are now starting to think of why things are happening and how, what can we do to prevent it from happening. So that's a very good step forward. I was also involved in these 2 a.m. wake-up calls for maintenance. So I am I now I'm happy that this situation will change. We will move from firefighting to plan maintenance and this will be the benefit for all these guys in the workshop. By February 2012 the plan is for Grigishkis to take full control of their new maintenance process and organization. I think that this is the right way for our company because we take knowledge and it will be our future. We will do maintenance we will train our people and we will uh, um, maintain in the right way, reliable way. One sentence what was told uh, by a project manager from SKF, uh, that good enough is not uh, acceptable anymore in this company, so we should do it, everything on the right manner, perfect.